The circle of confusion. And if not one of the most confusing items in photography. And I don't know who invented this thing, but I certainly went a bit crazy when I heard about it the first time. And now I see all kinds of articles online and, and people talk different things. Because the circle of confusion is very simple. If we focus on a very specific point with a camera and we have the focus point on the sensor, then that far end point where we have focused on, that light will travel through the lens. And because of the imperfections of the lens, the light rays will be bundled at a certain point. However, not all of them will be centered in that central focus point on your sensor. Some will be a bit behind the sensor and some will be a bit before the sensor. And as a consequence, that little light point where we focused on the far end is now showing up as a certain dish or surface on my sensor. And that is what we call the circle of confusion of a lens. Now, that's one thing. And that's pretty simple and there's not much you can do about it. This is just physics. The next step is that we could talk as well as the permissible circle uh, of confusion. And what is the permissible circle of confusion? Well, now we need to go back to um, two objects. One object right here, which we have focused on, and a second object, which is a bit further away, where we did not focus on. If we focused on the first object, then that object will, also, will show sharp on your sensor, based on your lens COC, your lens uh, circle of confusion. The second object, which is further away, and it depends how far it is away or how close it is, um, it will actually be blurred to a certain degree. The range between the focus point and how far we can go backward or forward from the focus point is actually your depth of field. <coughs> And that's defined by the circle of confusion, but it's called the permissible circle of confusion. As long as the object which is out of your focus point, so the object which is further away, that dish that it creates on your sensor is less than 0.03 millimeters for a full frame sensor like a DSLR, then you will still see it as sharp. If it's more than that, if that dish is growing up and it's becoming bigger than 0.03 millimeters, then it will become more blur. So this is what we call the permissible circle of confusion. And that's what most people talk about on the internet. And it's used to calculate the depth of field. <clears throat> All right, we just went through the circle of confusion. And now we know that the circle of confusion is defined by the lens, by the imperfections, and it's the absolute minimum dash or dish or spot that your lens can create at the focus point. And that's very low, so we really don't need to worry too much about that. However, uh, we also have discussed the maximum permissible um, circle of confusion, and this was how big can this dish be for objects that are not in your focus plane? Objects that you have not focused on, they are a bit further away or closer by. And that spot on your sensor cannot become bigger than 30 micrometer. If it becomes bigger, we won't see these objects as sharp anymore. All right. So now the word sharpness has fallen. Now sharpness is determined by three factors. It's determined by the viewing distance between you and the picture. And let's say, in average, we talk about 25 centimeters. Secondly, uh, it's affected by the ability of the eye to distinguish detail. And basically, the eye can distinguish uh, five lines per millimeter or any object which is around 0.2 millimeters at a distance of 25 centimeters. Of course, if you go further away, uh, that is getting less. And 
Then the last factor we need to talk about is the magnification. How many times did we multiply the, the sensor format onto the paper, onto the picture? These are the things we need to consider. So now let's get back to our chip, our CCD or our CMOS sensor. And what we have here uh, is then a Nikon D800 sensor, but it could be anyone. I'm just saying this is one of them. And every pixel on there is about, about five micrometer. In essence, it's really 4.88, but let's say for the sake of the explanation that it is um, five micrometer. That means we could actually have 200 lines or pixels per millimeter, right? So five micrometer times 200 is a thousand micrometer, makes it one millimeter. Good, that's easy. Now, um, we know that the maximum permissible circle of confusion, remember this dish for objects that we did not focus on, but we will still see a sharp, is 30 micrometers. Meaning that that spot, that dish, will occupy six pixels. Why? Because 30 micrometer divided by five micrometer per pixel gives you basically six pixels. Now initially we know that the sensor has 200 pixels per millimeter, but now because of that COC for those objects that we did not focus on, um, we now only have 33 lines per millimeter for those objects. Right, so um, we now could conclude that 33 lines per millimeter divided by five, and the five is our ability to see the amount of lines per millimeter at a distance of 25 centimeter, gives us a ratio of six. So basically, we can multiply the sensor dimensions by six, and that will give us the maximum possible picture we should print to be viewed at 25 centimeters and still see the objects that are in the picture that have a COC, the maximum permissible COC of 30 micrometer. Everything outside that will be considered as blur or seen as blur. Now, obviously, if you take a step back from the picture and your viewing distance becomes bigger, then that rule does no longer apply because then the eye cannot see any more five lines per millimeter, but maybe it can only see 2.5 lines per millimeter. And then basically, uh, the magnification, you can double it up and still have the same kind of sharpness feeling. And you all know the big billboards along the highway. I mean, if you look, these are big blobs of dots, huge magnification, and still from a long distance, we still see it sharp. So that is the story uh, about the circle of confusion and the permissible circle of confusion and how that relates to um, actual sharpness. Thank you for watching.